Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark and in today's video I'm going to be taking the Hemisphere S631 and putting it head to head with a base model Leica GS18. So we've got a Hemisphere S631 with its own base and we got the Leica GS18 with its own base. So let's get right into the test and see how the two performed. In our first test, what we did is we took the receivers and we dumped them for five seconds. This was to make sure we lost that satellite lock. We threw them in the stand and then we waited to see how long they would fix in the open skies. So once they flipped over, I started the timer and you can see the hemisphere comes in at just under 4.2 and the Leica at 6.3. So this would be a good representation of the kind of fix times you get in an open field if you dump the receiver, lost a fix, and then reacquired it. In our second test of the day, we're again dumping that antenna to lose the fix, and then we're gonna walk it into the building here, and as we flip it over, I'm gonna start the timer. And the idea behind this test is we wanna see how well it does up against some buildings. So we're doing this right in front of our office here in Calgary, and this is blocking out the western portion of our sky, and then we have an eave blocking out directly above the receiver. So we really only have the eastern sky to deal with uh, and hopefully have enough satellites. And you can see here the hemisphere fixed in 26 seconds and we've got a fixed solution with some good tight residuals as well that you can see in the top left corner here and then the Leica GS18 it came in quite a bit later here a full minute later before we got that fixed solution and you can see here again I've got fixed in the bottom right corner and then we'll see our residuals here that again like the hemisphere are nice and tight so we can get a fix here with the Leica but it's not quite as quick as that hemisphere is in this first multipath environment. Our third test of the day was a bit easier than that a building shot we just took. So we've got these two big leafy trees here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk it in, we're gonna flip it over and we've got the Leica with a bit of a head start here. And when we get there, we flip that hemisphere and you're gonna see that both fix pretty quickly. So this is a bit more challenging than the open sky environment, but this shouldn't be very challenging for any seventh generation receiver. So you can see the Leica fixes in 9.7 seconds with some good tight residuals and the hemisphere again as well is fixed. And you can see here that we've got some good residuals as well. So both perform quite well in this environment. Again, not too difficult. We've got these poplar trees, but they're pretty far pulled back, uh, giving both receivers a good look at the sky. Our fourth test of the day here was again up against a building, and this time we're blocking out the southern facing sky. And that's important because up here in Canada, that's where the majority of our satellites are. So we've always found that receivers struggle in this position just because they cannot see that southern portion of the sky. So we're going to see how both receivers perform. And again, the hemisphere comes in well ahead of that like at 28 seconds. And you can see here we got that RTK fixed with some good tight tolerances up against this building with, again, the majority of our satellites blocked out by the building. And the Leica, we just don't end up getting a fix here. So we waited for a full minute here, two minutes, and it just didn't fix. And those residuals weren't coming down. So we called it there. Like we, it was having a difficult time even getting a float solution. Our last test of the day was arguably the most challenging. So in this test, we've got these big pine trees that are blocking out most of the sky. And we also have power lines in both directions. So we've got them going parallel to one another as well as perpendicular. So this makes it very hard for the receivers to get a good clean lock on the satellites, but the hemisphere still was able to get that fixed solution. So just over 25 seconds, we got a fixed solution with some good residuals. And again, that Leica, we waited for another two minutes or so, and we just didn't see those residuals coming down and we weren't even able to get a fixed solution. We were still getting radio out there, um, but the receiver just wasn't able to get a, uh, a reliable position. That so by now you've watched all of the tests here and you've gotten the results. The Hemisphere S631 pretty clearly performed better in under canopy situations. And there are a couple reasons for that. So yes, both receivers are seventh generation RTK technology. However, at the beginning of the video, you may have noticed that I called the Leica GS18 the base model and that's because unlike hemisphere where everything's fully included in this receiver you can run it as a base you can run it as a network rover you can run it however you want and all of the constellations are included for one price there's no extra modules there's nothing's locked behind a paywall the gs18 locks key constellations behind a paywall so if you want those Beidou constellation which is the most accurate civilian constellation available right now that is not available to you unless you pay an extra fee 
So the Leica GS18 already costs more as a base model compared to the Hemisphere S631, and that doesn't even factor in all of the additional upgrades you're going to need. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a fully upgraded one out here. We couldn't find one in our local area. So if you're in the if you're in the local Calgary area and you got a GS18 and you want to see how it stacks up against this Hemisphere S631, give me a shout. I'd be more than happy to take this under canopy and put it up against anything out there right now because I believe this is the best seventh generation RTK receiver available on the market full stop. But for now, that is everything in today's video. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have a moment, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you wanna see next put up against this Hemisphere S631. What do you wanna see? Because we're always looking for ideas. And if you're in the local Calgary area and you got a receiver that you wanna see put up against the 631, drop me an email down below and uh, we'll sort it out, get the receiver up against this 631. But if you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us online at bench-mark.ca.